Hello everyone, Purge here, and uh, this is just going to be a quick uh, video tutorial for Brickwall's games uh, to help him get his uh, DS capture uh, set up uh, in a way that he wants to have it set up. In order for him to do that, he needs to use Windows subregions, and he doesn't know how to do that, so this is simply to explain how Windows subregions work and how to set them up properly. Uh, so if you're interested in that, continue following along. Otherwise, uh, you can go ahead and stop now. Go watch one of my other videos, or maybe even go watch some of Brickwall's Games videos. He's on YouTube, and his uh, channel, I'll have a link for it in the description of the video below. So, uh, you'll see here that I have Brick's Twitch channel, uh, which is currently actually streaming as I record this. Um, and what I want to do is, obviously this is all one window, uh, and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get just the stream, and then just the chat. Uh, and then uh, then I can resize them and move them around however I wish. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop right on into it. So if I open up OBS, uh, obviously you'll need to make a scene or whatever. Uh, if you don't know how to make a scene, then I don't know what you're doing watching this video, Ben. Anyway, <laughs> so we go in here and we choose window capture, obviously. And for my own sanity, I'm going to go ahead and number this window capture one. And now this is going to get uh, a little bit confusing here pretty quickly. Uh, so it'll bring this up here. Now, you have windows up here to choose. I'm going to choose the Twitch Google Chrome because that's the window that I want. I don't want the Fraps window. I don't want my Steam chat or anything else. I just want my Twitch window. Um, and then here's the subregion thing. This is, this is the whole meat of this. And uh, if I select that and then preview, it didn't do anything because it didn't actually set up a subregion. But what I will do here is I'm going to move this uh, OBS window so that it's completely inside of the uh, this for the purposes of this tutorial. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into properties. Now, you, you this literally just brings up the exact same window that was just up. I just did this for my own sanity. Um, and you just click on this. If this isn't active, you, you obviously take it and you click on select region. This makes your entire screen go white. Don't panic. This has two lines of an of a resizable movable square that'll pop up on your screen or on your window. I'm not entirely sure which it is because this is a full screen uh, program, obviously. So then what you want to do is you want to line this up with whatever you want to capture. Uh, keep in mind that the outer line is, is inclusive. So um, you want to line up the outside of your whatever part that you're trying to uh, set a uh, capture, that's the word, capture, with the outer line, not the inner line. The inner line is simply for you to grab a hold of to resize. That's literally the only point of that inner line. And then you just take that and move it over here. And since I only want the screen of the Twitch itself, I'm not going to grab any of this stuff here. And now you'll notice, even though I have the OBS window on top of this, because we are getting screen position for just the, the Chrome window, that this is totally okay. It's going to capture the stream. There won't be the OBS stuff in the way. And when I hit enter and okay, you'll see it's just showing the OBS. I'm not getting any of that uh, to infinity and beyond nonsense um, because it's not reading OBS because it's only capturing that specific window. And now let's do the same thing. Grab the chat, get a window capture, name this one too for my own sanity again. And just straight from the get-go here, I'm going to go ahead and select a region. Select a region. What is going on? Oh, I'm still on the Fraps window. That's what's going on. Select the region. <laughs> Stupid Fraps. All right, let's make this smaller so that I can actually get it positioned. Here we go. I'm only going to get the, uh, the actual chat. If you look here closely, if you're watching on 1080p, which I hope you are, or whatever the setting is for this, it probably will be 1080p, you'll notice that in between the two lines you can see the first letter of whatever line it is. And let me go ahead and get this properly set as well. That's good enough for this tutorial. And what I'll do is hit OK. And I'll take this, I have to edit scene of course to move things, and I'll bring it over here. And when I blow this up, you'll notice if you look real careful like in fact let me just go ahead and blow this up so you can actually see the uh, 
the first letter of everyone's names and the first letter of the lines and everything is actually showing. So that is how you know that the outer line is inclusive. And then it's just as normal. You just move everything around however you want it. Like I can put the chat over here. I can bring the window over here. I can uh, resize the chat so that it's not that big because that's way too big. What is going on? What am I thinking? Here we go. That's actually just fine. Take this, resize it, you know, do whatever the hell you will with it. So that's how you do uh, Windows subregions with OBS. Um, I hope this was helpful to you, Brick, uh, and anyone else who happens to be watching this. I hope that uh, helps you to get fancy with your, uh, your Windows and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so uh, if you like the video, like the tutorial, go ahead and feel free to subscribe. Uh, like the video. Uh, definitely like the video. Even if you don't want to subscribe, please do like the video. It does help a lot. Um, and definitely go check out Brickwalls Games on YouTube. Uh, even if you don't like my stuff. <laughs> Alright, so uh, that being said, I hope to see you next time. This is Purge, signing off.